Many flowers utilize animals to transport pollen from male organs in one flower to female organs on a different flower. These flowers must both attract and reward the animal pollinator. There are strategies involved. If there's too much reward at any one flower, the animal could be satiated and not visit a second flower. If there is too little reward, then the animal might ignore the flower and pollinate other species of flower instead. The animals which pollinate flowers vary in their ability to see color. Bees and wasps, for example, prefer flowers which are blue and yellow. Butterflies and hummingbirds perceive the color red, which bees detect as black. Bees, and even some hummingbirds and butterflies, can perceive ultraviolet patterns which are invisible to humans. Moths and bats can pollinate flowers at night and depend on the distinction between light and dark rather than color. Flower odors can also be adapted to attracting specific animals. Flowers pollinated by birds often have no odor since this sense is typically not well developed in birds. Flies are often attracted to plain flowers with odors which are similar to sweat or even rotting flesh. In the tropics, some flowers produce fruity odors to attract bats. Some flowers mimic the sexual pheromones of beetles and wasps to entice males to mate with the flowers, thinking that these are female insects instead. Flower odor tends to be less important than color in attracting animals during the day, but becomes the primary attractant at night. The following images show a diversity of possible flower colors in our area. Many flowers, for example, are white. Many flowers can be pink, flowers can be red or orange, many flowers are yellow, Some flowers are green, many flowers are blue, many flowers are purple. 